How's it going everyone? It is the Reversal Trader King where I catch the most precise bottoms in the stock market and I want to show you guys exactly how I do it with my unique system that I have developed for over six years and if you stay long enough I have a premium discord which I talk about my favorite trades with and with my entries and exits before I get in and it's only six dollars a month I'll put in the YouTube comment section below but let's get right into what you want to see stock Fisker how do we find the bottom when is this thing going to finally pump and resume an uptrend that is the question everyone's trying to answer and i'm going to try to help you exactly with my system and how i find a more precise entry so we're not just randomly buying random candles and we actually know where the heck we're buying use a little technical analysis and we'll go a long way here so the green band is your buying zone the blue band is where price magnets to the red is your sell zone so as you can see i said price magnets to so the longer the time it doesn't hit the blue band the last time was right here it has to hit it because price is not corrected and so we finally hits it right in here this was i've seen usually around two months it's pretty long and so it kind of hits it right in there about two months and it hits it and makes some massive returns right in here so this is where i initially um i did play this one i did play lucid i it had a similar pattern but it's looking really nice but i'll show you exactly where this one is good it pierces the bottom band here you accumulate some shares and and um there's also other things you do. You do not just buy if it hits the green band. I do want to give that fair warning. You want to look for other things, uh, price action, lower time frames, the market sentiment, and, and all that stuff. And I can't go over all that in the video, but I want to show you guys just some basic analogy of what my strategy is and um, how you can ignore all these red candles. All these candles are irrelevant to us. They're irrelevant until right in here, it says, okay, this is on my watch list now. We have a candle piercing our bottom band. And the minute it does it, you get a bullish hammer right here, plus another candle that does 5%, making you decent returns. And if you didn't sell then and there, we also know that the blue band was not touched. The last time it was touched, it was right here. So basically, knowing some secret things about the stock market just like that, so we know that, and guess what? It touches right here, making some nice returns. If you accumulated um, right in here, you would have re-entered if you really like this trade just for the bottom band bounce, and you would have made some nice returns right in here. Now, I do remember this day, it was going up like, I think it was like 30%, everyone was hyped. And then the problem is, what I saw is, definitely wasn't chasing because a lot of the times when it hits this blue band, it could either go up, absolutely. It could have shifted these all bands to an uptrend but if it doesn't break this blue band and hold it and go up like like what it's doing now it went down then that is not the uptrend we're looking for right so obviously all my bands are going down we want to if you want to get in early to the party you want to make sure you're getting the precise entries that i alert on this so now we go all the way down this was kind of a nice little buy here if you just was like man this thing's not going any lower I, I just see this going in. We're near the blue band. I'll take some entries here. I'll just take some shares, take a shot at it. I know everyone's back holding. Um, I'm fine in this area. If you wanted to be a long-term investor, well, your luck just was amazing right here because this thing shot up 17% on the close. Obviously hit a high of 110 from 76 cents. That was a nice return. And so then, um, right now, so we're looking at, um, let me see here, just basic TNA that everyone can do. So... We're looking at um right here just a nice support consolidation right here um so if we're just going to use these basic technical analysis that everyone has access to we don't want to see 72 cents break if that does break we get a, obviously some stop losses i know a lot of people are putting their stop losses right below this 70 cent zone retail traders love 70 cents you got to stop doing that guys stop putting stop losses at whole numbers because the market makers know that they know you're not going to do 70 or 69.3 or 69.20 68.30 it's going to be flat out 70 cents if it breaks 70 and then what's going to happen is what i see this happening is breaking that 70 cent level going down putting a lot of stop losses out of control and then going back up making a nice hammer candle but for me and my strat, I am looking more towards this uh, bottom band. Do I think it's going to go all the way down to $0.48? Cents? I don't know. 
but I, I rather find a stock that does it. If I do, um, if I do wanted to take something, I would take something honestly like this that is closer to the bottom band here. It makes a nice 30% on that next candle. This is looking good. Honestly, a nice consolidation pattern. I've seen this pattern so much, but um, you just be aware of that stop loss that I just told you. This could easily well pump. But do know that your potential target as of now is 92 cents because this price is going to fluctuate. As price goes down, the blue band fluctuates. The last time we touched the blue band was right in here. So we are getting close for a blue band touch that could easily pump here. And what you want to see is these bands shifting up and we want to go towards the red band. So that's my basic analogy on this. Um, obviously, I'm waiting it out. I see a lot of plays that are at the green band and I want to put this on the side till it finally, you know, comes to my watch list is what I'm saying. I love, don't get me wrong, I love Fisker and I think honestly, it could honestly go up and, but I just don't want to take that risk where it, you know, it could break this support level and then hit down to there. I want to be ready for the worst case scenario because I've seen this happen so many times in the stock market. It's just, it's crazy. You know, people were buying up here thinking it's never going to go lower. It goes here, it's never going to go lower. And then we didn't think it's going to break a dollar and it broke a dollar. It's just, yeah, it's crazy out there. But um, this is Fisker. I hope you enjoyed this analysis. If you want to see my favorite trades, guys, I have a premium discord with my entries and exits. I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to give you an, a live example of my trade orders. This is what it's going to look like. It's very professional. Every green check means I filled on an order. I will say limit order to buy Peggy at 0.1029. That's before Peggy even hit 10, 0 0.1029. So that way you can get in your broker, put the order in before it hits this, and we can all be on the same limit order. And then I do a nice scaling system. I know exactly how to scale properly. I forgot to put right in here, this is my second order. I will tell you how to properly size your positions according to an account size. So do remember that. And then I have a setup video right here that talks you how to get everything you see on my chart here. And I explain it in a much detailed video because obviously I don't have the time to go over it all. It's like a 30 minute video to discuss how I look for these trades on the best case scenarios so we don't bag hold. Setup video right in there, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is my premium Discord. I put it at a I put this at a low cost video. Sorry, I freeze there because I want any account size to be able to trade. If you have only $500, I get it. I was there once. If you only have a hundred, I get it. So it's only $6 a month. I will make sure you get that premium way far back where you don't have to worry about it. If you follow my simple step guidance. Um, so I'm going to put the link, scroll down below the discord to access will be easy to find. It'll be in the YouTube comments. Just scroll down the video, hit comment section, and I'll pin it. And I'll say, join the premium discord for the best trades, or you can hit my description and you'll find it there. Now, if you guys like this video and like my analysis on Fisker, and you want to see other, you know, videos like this and other trades, join the, um, not that hit the like, hit the subscribe and comment. Any type of reaction will help the YouTube algorithm share it to other um, to other people and other um, retail traders looking for fine reversals. Obviously, I got people typing right now. I had to, um, there's all, you have me in here all the time. Just to remember, you have my brain, you have my years of experience. I have done this over six years of experience. I love this, I love teaching, quit the nine to five job so I can be here with you guys. So if you guys liked it, give it a like. And I look forward to seeing you in the premium discord. And what you'll do is once you get in the free chat, you just hit premium chat up here and it'll access, it'll tell you, would you like to subscribe? It will be a little cheaper on computer. So just remember that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and take care and I'll see you on the flip side.